Hey what's happening everyone, Sir James from GamerFusion.com and in today's video I thought we can go ahead and talk about some information that we've learned thus far in regards to the Watch Dogs 2 because while I was at work today this was being revealed to the public in which I finally got the chance to catch up and all sorts of different information but do keep in mind that we are expected to see more during E3 but anyways here is what we know thus far. As far as the main character goes, we are going to be playing as a new character who is a hacker by the name of Marcus who is currently being accused of a crime in which he didn't commit. The game will be taking place in San Francisco, which is the latest city to adapt the CTOS 2.0 technology in which Marcus is setting out and to be determined to take it offline for good. Now as Marcus, of course you'll be able to hack all sorts of different things such as the city's infrastructures as well as every person with a device connected. He can also take control of drones, cars, cranes, security robots, and much more. Not only that, he's also adapted the technology of 3D printing in which he's able to create his own drones and weapon upgrades. Of course, as far as what does Marcus carry, he does carry two initial items. He does carry a taser and a cue ball attached to a length of paracord in which he's able to use to knock out enemies in a non-lethal manner. Of course, not only that, as players, you have the option to take on missions using complete stealth, or you can go in guns a blazing, or in this case, you can mix it up as both. So if you prefer stealth, you have that. On top of that, Watch Dogs 2 also features a large open world where you can hack your way through traffic, kind of like what we've experienced with Watch Dogs 1. Of course, not only that, the driving mechanics, which a lot of players complain about, has been overhauled dramatically to the point where during their gameplay demonstration it looked fantastic. Of course you'll be able to kind of uh, almost go anywhere that you want within the game such as being able to go on rooftops, you'll be able to infiltrate offices located in Silicon Valley, and there's also going to be two well-known Bay Area's regions included in the game with a third being Marine Country as well. As far as the missions go, the mission set within the open world can be completed in any order which has their own individual stories depending on how you go about completing it. And of course this will also contribute to Marcus's followers which will contribute towards the end game content. As far as the game goes in terms of online multiplayer, it does boost a seamless online multiplayer experience which will allow players to meet up with others for some co-op experience or you could take part in PvP action. As far as the multiplayer goes, that could be initiated with other players through a player's friends list without the need of menus, loading screens, and other dividers from the main experience. Players will also come across random players while just wandering the world in which you could either play competitively or cooperatively. So what do you guys think about this? Based on the footage that I've seen thus far, and plus the awesome parkour action by the way that I forgot to mention, all this seems really cool and overall I'm really excited about this title. But once again, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com. Don't forget to check out the information in regards to the Collector's Edition. And Watch Dogs 2 is slated to be released this year. But until then, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, where we empower your gaming.